Okay, let's talk about a quick shortcut in Pro Tools that's going to improve your automation workflow. All right, I know I say this almost every single time, but I think today is actually going to be a bit of a shorty video. I have someone coming for a studio tour in like 20 minutes, so I'm just going to kind of crunch through this, get the essentials, and hopefully it'll help with your workflow when you're writing automation and maybe in a few other cases, let me know in the comments. Okay, so first of all, the context where I find this useful is when I'm writing automation. So for example, if we wanna write volume automation, you can click on waveform here at the head of your track and you can go to volume and then you have your volume automation graph here and you can, for example, edit it and change the automation over time, have the parameter change over time. That's what automation is, right? You can also, the way I like doing it is I like to leave it on waveform so I can edit the waveform here, but I also like to open up the volume automation below if I'm writing automation. So if I'm writing automation to a parameter, I will open it up below the track so I can see where I've done automation. And that comes in handy because for example, once you've added automation onto a parameter, it will We'll jump to the automation value when you hit play, whether you lower the fader or not. So oftentimes when we're writing automation, and I'm not going to dig into how to write automation in a ton of detail, I'll show you really quickly, but I do have a video that's all about the different automation modes. So I'll put a card for that up on the screen. You can check that out. I'll put a link in the description and then in the comments as well for that. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch into touch mode here, and I'm just going to write some automation to this. Actually, let me solo this because these are all... This is from my previous video. So this is a mixed version, quote unquote, of these example tracks here. So I'm going to solo this. It's in touch mode. I'm going to write some automation. So I'm going to hit play and I will adjust the volume here and we will see the automation getting written on our automation graph here. So that can be an easy and intuitive way to write automation. Oftentimes we like pairing that with uh, some kind of a control surface, right? So you can actually be moving faders, which is very intuitive and easy, and it makes the process a lot faster sometimes. But what I wanna show you today is a shortcut that you can use while doing this to quickly redo a chunk of automation. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna look at your cursor, right? So I have my edit cursor here, I'm moving it around. I have my edit cursor. Here is my timeline selection, my timeline cursor, right? So you see the little two blue flags. If I highlight a range, they are linked currently. They don't always have to be linked, but they are currently linked in my system. And you'll notice here I have these little flags. And so these are pre-roll and post-roll flags. So if I turn on pre-roll, it lights up yellow. Same thing, post-roll, right? And you can do command K to turn those on and off. So the thing that you want to pay attention to for this is where this pre-roll flag is located. So it does not have to be active. I'll show you with it inactive. Right now it's inactive. But basically what you do is you hit play. And let me actually, I'll do an example here so it's a little easier. I'll do like a half, half a measure here. So I can kind of drag it a little bit closer. So for example, if I'm writing automation right here, and I want to have multiple shots at it, what I can do is I can hit play, I can write my automation, and then if I wanna jump backwards a bit, I can do command, option, and then the left arrow. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna hit play. Back. And then I might be like, oh, let's redo that. I'm gonna do command, option, left arrow. Back. Now I can redo it. Command, option, left arrow. And I can just keep doing that shortcut over and over as many times as I need until I get it just how I like it. So I find this really handy when you're writing automation, you're trying to do it quickly, you wanna do it kind of intuitively by using one of these automation modes and I don't know, I just find it helpful. So I figured I'd share it today. So one thing to keep in mind is that this shortcut, it'll only play until the point where your post roll flag is located. So notice my flag is right here, it's kind of close, right? So if I hit play, I adjust my automation, I do the shortcut, I can do it after the post roll, that's fine because we're in normal playback mode, so to speak, right? I'm gonna do command option left. Watch where it stops, I'm not touching anything. See how it stopped there right at that post roll flag? Now if I drag this out, let's try it again. Ta-da-da. Command option left arrow. It's gonna go farther, it's gonna go till that flag. So I just keep that in mind. 
where you place your post roll flag also affects things when you're using this technique. So if I want to be safe, oftentimes I just drag it way out. Then I don't really have to think about it. Hitting spacebar to pause is easy enough for me. So that's what I choose to do. Now, another thing that might be handy that you would want to use in conjunction with this is insertion follows playback. So you'll notice if I hit play and then I pause it, I'm going to pause it over here. Look at where my cursor is. It's back where I started. So if I turn on insertion follows playback, that's the N on the keyboard. And you'll notice here, it's also this button here is insertion follows playback. So if I hit N over and over, it's toggling on and off, right? So now if I hit play, when I pause it, it's gonna stop where I paused it. So you might wanna use that in conjunction with this because then you can rewrite automation and when you get it how you want it, you pause and now your new start point when you hit our shortcut, command option, left arrow, is now gonna be here instead of over here. So that's something that you might wanna use in conjunction with this technique. Now, another thing that's kind of similar, right, that people might bring up is the idea that you can rewind a bit with the one on your numeric keypad. So if I hit the one, I'm holding it. It's jumping backwards for me. So that's something people might mention. You have rewind and then you have fast forward with the two on the numeric keypad. So I hit play and then I hold down the two. It's jumping forward. See how it was kind of jumping forward by a certain amount at regular intervals. That's because I was holding down two. So you might find that something like that is more useful to you in this application or in other applications. But that is only if you have a numeric keypad on your keyboard and it's the one and two to go backwards and forwards respectively. So I think that's everything that I wanted to cover today. I hope someone finds this video useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I have a Patreon. It's patreon.com slash noise. We have additional content for the Patreons on the Patreon page. We have a Discord server that we're hanging out on. We're running a book club on the Discord server. It's been a lot of fun. They also get early releases. So as I edit these videos, I post them on the Patreon. It's whenever they're ready, they go up and you get to see them if you're a Patreon. And thank you so much to my Patreon patrons. You help keep this channel independent. And other than that, if you want to work together on your music, please feel free to go to my website. It's katonoise.com and hit the get started button. And with the get started button, it'll ask you like a few questions about your music and then take you to a calendar page where you can actually schedule a Zoom call with me. It's a free Zoom call, no obligation or anything. It's just so that we can figure out if we might be a good fit, if we might want to work together. So feel free to check that out if you might want my help working on your music. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for hanging out. Okay. The AC has not been working properly in my classroom at San Diego State. And it's toasty in there right now. It's September and it's hot in San Diego in September. And it's been a bit toasty. So I'm really, really, really hoping they're supposed to fix it soon. I really hoping that they fixed it for today's class, which I'm going to later, later tonight. So yeah, that's my, that's my big concern for today. Okay, bye. I hope you're doing well.